2020 Hyundai Veloster Reviews. Like, share, subscribe to the channel and do not forget to ring the bell to update the latest videos from RadioReviewer.com. The Car Connection Expert Review. Likes. Sharp styling. High buck feel. Relatively practical. R specs cohesive feel. Good infotainment system. Dislikes. Dull on center steering. The ride may be too stiff for some. Dual clutch automatics occasional fumbles. Buying tip. Adaptive cruise control is frustratingly limited to the range topping trims, so shop carefully if you have a long commute. Quick specs. Gas mileage, 28 miles per gallon city slash 34 miles per gallon highway. Engine, intercooled turbo regular unleaded I4, 1.6 liters. EPA class, compact cars. Style name, Turbo Ultimate DCT. Drive train, front wheel drive. Passenger capacity, 4. Passenger doors, 3. Body style, 3 drams car. Transmission, 7 speed eco shift DCT with Shiftronic Incorporated. Paddle shifters. Drive mode select, normal, sport, smart, and hill start assist control. Dimensions. Vehicle. EPA classification, compact cars. Weight information. Base curb weight, pounds, 2987. Interior dimensions. Passenger volume, FT cubed, 89.9. Second headroom, in. 35.9 front shoulder room in 56 second hip room in 46.5 front headroom in 36.9 second leg room in 34.1 passenger capacity 4 front hip room in 54.1 front leg room in 42.6 Second shoulder room, in, 54.3. Exterior dimensions. Length, overall, in, 166.9. Minute ground clearance, in, 5.6. Track width, front, in, 61. Width, max without mirrors, in, 70.9. Wheelbase, in, 104.3. Track width, rear, in, 61.3. Height, overall, in, 55.1. Cargo area dimensions. Cargo volume with rear seat down, FT cubed, 44.5. Cargo volume with rear seat up, FT cubed, 19.9. Fuel economy. Fuel tank. Fuel tank capacity, the Brox, Gal, 13.2. Mileage. EPA Fuel Economy Estate, City, MPG, 28. EPA Fuel Economy Estate, Highway, MPG, 34. Fuel Economy Estate Combined, MPG, 30. Performance Specs. Engine. Engine Type, Intercool Turbo Regular Unleaded I-4. See Net Horsepower at RPM, 201 at 6000. Displacement, 1.6 liters slash 97. Engine order code, NA. Nah. See net torque at RPM, 195 at 1500. Fuel system, gasoline direct injection. Transmission. Trans order code, NA. Nah. Second gear ratio, colon 1, 2.17. Reverse ratio, colon 1, 4.70. Trans description kind. Again, nah. Fifth gear ratio, colon 1, 0 0.85. Trans type, 7. Third gear ratio, colon 1, 1 1.83. Final drive axle ratio, colon 1, 4.64. Drive train, front wheel drive. First gear ratio, colon 1, 3.64. Sixth gear ratio, Colon 1, 0 0.81. Trans description con, auto shift manual with I. Fourth gear ratio, colon 1, 
1.02 Seventh gear ratio, colon 1, 0 0.72 Brakes Brake ABS system, fore wheel Drum, rear, yes or, nah Front brake rotor diamex thickness, in, 12 Disc, front, yes or, yes Rear drum diamex width, in, nah Brake type, four wheel disc Rear brake rotor diamex thickness, in, 10.3 Disc, rear, yes or, yes Steering Turning diameter, curb to curb, foot, 34.8 Steering type, rack pinion Tires Rear tire order code, nah Rear tire size, P225 slash 40WR18 Spare tire order code, nah Front tire order code, nah Spare tire size, compact Front tire size, P225 slash 40WR18 Wheels Rear wheel size, in, 18 by 7.5 Rear wheel material, aluminum Spare wheel size, in, compact Front wheel size, in, 18 by 7.5 Spare wheel material, steel Front wheel material, aluminum Suspension Suspension type, rear, multi-link Suspension type, front, con, strut Suspension type, front, strut Suspension type, rear, con, multi-link Safety features Safety Airbag frontal driver, yes Airbag frontal passenger, yes Airbag passenger switch, on slash off, no Airbag side body front, yes Airbag side body rear, no Airbag side head front, yes Airbag side head rear, yes Brakes ABS, yes Child safety rear door locks, yes Daytime running lights, yes Traction control, yes Night vision, no Rollover protection bars, no Fog lamps, no Parking aid, no Tire pressure monitor, yes Backup camera, yes Stability control, yes Other features Electronic stability control, escape ABS and driveline traction control Side impact beams Dual stage driver and passenger seat mounted side airbags Lane keep assist, LKA, lane keeping assist Lane keep assist, LKA, lane departure warning Blind spot collision warning, BCW, blind spot Forward collision avoidance assist, FCA, with pedestrian detection Tire pressure monitoring system low tire pressure warning Dual stage driver and passenger front airbags Curtain first and second row airbags Airbag occupancy sensor Rear child safety locks Outboard front lap and shoulder safety belts incorporated Pretensioners Backup camera Warranty Basic miles slash km, 60,000 Basic years, 5 Corrosion miles slash km, unlimited Corrosion years, 7 Drive train miles slash km, 100,000 Drive train years, 10 Maintenance miles slash km, 36,000 Maintenance years, 3 Roadside assistance miles slash km, unlimited Roadside assistance years, 5 Other specs Electrical Maximum alternator capacity, amps, 130 The 2020 Hyundai Veloster has a polished feel, matched with strong engine options and a dash of practicality The 2020 Hyundai Veloster dares to be different, and it succeeds On one hand, it's a practical hatchback with decent luggage capacity and an extra rear door for easier human, pet, or grocery loading on the other, it's a zippy sports car that can be optioned up to genuine track level fun. Overall, we rate the lineup as 6.5 out of 10. The Veloster comes in three flavors, base, turbo, 
and N, the latter now to Hyundai what M is to BMW, or at least that's the intention. Base versions use a tepid 2.0-liter inline-four paired with either six-speed manual or automatic gearboxes. Turbos swap in a 1.6-liter turbo 4 that churns 201 horsepower to the front wheels through either a six-speed manual or a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The Veloster N comes only with the manual and features a tuned 2.0-liter turbo 4 rated as high as 275 horsepower with an optional performance package. The standard Veloster Turbo provides good acceleration and confident handling, while the Veloster N begs to stop at a racetrack on the way home. All versions ride firmly, but are reasonably quiet. Interior space is good for a small car, with enough room for shorter adults to sit one behind the other. With up to 45 cubic feet of cargo space, the Veloster is a practical buy. Better yet are its 7.0 or 8.0 inch touchscreens, which operate quickly and boast standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Also standard is a complement of collision avoidance tech, though adaptive cruise control is restricted to only the costliest of Velosters. The Veloster has done well in what crash tests have been performed, and most versions top 30 miles per gallon on the highway. 2020 Hyundai Veloster, Styling The quirky 2020 Hyundai Veloster offers a more styling personality than anodyne rivals. At first glance, the latest Hyundai Veloster looks a lot like the original, third door and all. A closer examination reveals that the 2020 Veloster cleaned up and more harmonious inside and out, though not without quirks that straddle the line between off-putting and high personality. We rate the little hatchback at 7 out of 10 for its looks. The Veloster has a broad front end with an upright mesh-like grille separated from the swept-back headlights by a fair amount of sheet metal, or plastic, as it actually is. From the side, the latest model looks more like a two-door wagon than its perky predecessor, at least in profile. The available contrasting black roof works well, though it might be a little toasty in Phoenix in July. From the rear, the high-mounted taillights dive into the relatively small hatchback opening. Hyundai sets trim levels apart with numerous styling cues such as upsized wheels, glossy black or red trim, and painted roofs and pillars, though even the base version has a suitably upmarket appearance. Turbos have a tailpipe pair jutting out from the rear diffuser. Veloster ends have an even more prominent body kit. Inside, the Veloster draws heavily from the Kona crossover. A reasonably big 7.0-inch display is standard, while a bright 8.0-inch is optional. There's lots of hard plastic and shiny piano black trim, but enough bright work and variation in upholstery keeps high-spec versions from looking downscale. 2020 Hyundai Veloster, Performance You'll want the Veloster Turbo if driving fun is what you're after. The 2020 Hyundai Veloster comes in three configurations, each with its own four-cylinder engine and its own personality. Our 6 out of 10 rating here applies to the Veloster Turbo, which earns a point above average for its acceleration. The Zippy Veloster N would add a couple of points for straight-line acceleration and handling. Base cars use a 2.0-liter inline-4 rated at 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque, which sends power forward through either 6-speed manual or 6-speed automatic transmissions. We've not driven this version, but we have enough seat time in other Hyundais with this powertrain to know that acceleration will be fine, but not thrilling. The Veloster Turbo makes use of a 1.6-liter turbo 4 that's down on displacement but way up on power, 201 horsepower and 195 pounds to foot away drivers to be sent forward through either a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic, and the Veloster R spec can be hit with a B and M racing short-throw manual gearbox. The turbo's torque peaks at a low 1,500 revolutions per minute enough to help it sprint to 60 miles per hour in about 6 seconds while providing ample power in both around town and high-speed passing situations. Acceleration is accompanied by synthetic sound piped into the cabin, which can be turned off. 
various drive modes rework transmission shift points and either add or subtract steering heft. In any mode, the car handles confidently and delivers a quality ride thanks to a multi-link rear suspension swapped in with last year's redesign. The Veloster rides firmly, but not uncomfortably, at least on the smooth Texas roads where we have sampled the car so far. Grip is terrific with the optional summer tires, which drivers in wet or cold climates will want to swap for winter rubber around Thanksgiving. The car's steering disappoints up against the predictable, less synthetic feel offered by the Civic C. Hyundai Veloster N. For a pole vault into VW GTI territory, meet the Veloster N. It's strapped with a high output turbo 4, stiffer suspension, better brakes, and a clear target in mind. The Veloster N likes to turn corners rather than plow through them, something we're not sure we've been able to say about a car with the automaker's stylized H affixed to its nose. Bigger brakes than the standard turbo, which can be upsized to even larger platters, pair with standard Michelin Pilot Super Sport and optional Pirelli P0 rubber to give the car proper German Sportster bona fides. As they should sense the Veloster N was developed by a team led by an ex-BMW engineer in Germany. The 250 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4 is boosted to a healthy 275 horsepower with the optional performance package, which strikes us as $2,000 well spent as long as you've budgeted for replacing pricier tires and brake pads. The 6-speed manual gearbox delivers short, positive shifts, and the standard rev matching prevents upsetting the car's weight balance when slipping down a gear or two. Aided by the grippier rubber, the retuned steering and an electronic limited slip differential on the front axle make the most of the corners. As a track day car, the Veloster N is a new favorite. 2020 Hyundai Veloster, Comfort and Quality the 2020 Hyundai Veloster is 50% more useful than you might expect. The 2020 Hyundai Veloster is 167-inch overall length makes it one of the smallest new cars available, and yet it makes up for its trim proportions with well-thought-out touches. We rate the 2020 Veloster at 5 out of 10 for its comfort and quality, a decent figure for a car this small. An extra point for cargo space gets offset by its still cramped back seat. The Veloster features two side doors on the right side and a longer driver's door, which gives rear seat riders easier access than in a typical coupe. Truthfully, most buyers will probably use the third door for loading a pet or a week's groceries since rear seat space is at a premium. The front seats are comfortable and offer a good range of adjustment. Cloth is standard, with a cloth and leather combination upholstering most turbos. Range toppers use full leather. A narrow cabin means that the Veloster never feels truly spacious, though even sunroof-equipped models have decent headroom. With the second row upright, the Veloster can lug nearly 20 cubic feet worth of cargo, and more than double that with the seat folded down. Ample sound deadening, a stiffer body, and an active noise control feature on turbocharged modules means the car is reasonably quiet, while the nice interior graining helps obscure the price-conscious plastic trim. 2020 Hyundai Veloster, Safety the 2020 Hyundai Veloster has done well in crash tests and has the potential to climb higher once the NHTSA gives its say. With a good range of collision avoidance tech standard on all versions of the 2020 Hyundai Veloster and a top safety pick rating from the US, the small three-door is a safe choice. We rate it as 7, which could climb if it's given top marks when the NHTSA weighs in. All Velosters have automatic emergency braking, while active lane control, blind spot monitors, pedestrian detection, and adaptive cruise control are available on higher trim levels. A driver attention monitor displays a coffee cup on the instrument cluster when it thinks drivers are ready for a break. These gave the Veloster good ratings in every crash test. Base versions have headlights rated poor, while other models were rated acceptable. 2020 Hyundai Veloster, Features A strong infotainment system and a wide array of modules mean there's not a bad 2020 Hyundai Veloster in the bunch. Between base, turbocharged, and track-ready inversions, the 2020 Hyundai Veloster comes in a lot of flavors. 
it won't be hard for most shoppers to distill the lineup into what they need, and at every step along the way they'll find a well-priced hatchback with good equipment backed by a comprehensive warranty. The 2020 Veloster earns an 8 out of 10 from us. Base Velosters can be had for a few Benjamins under $20,000, though an automatic transmission costs $1,000 more. They're well equipped with collision avoidance tech, alloy wheels, power features, and a 7.0-inch touchscreen with Bluetooth and a USB port as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Zip up to the top of the spec sheet and the $28,500 Veloster N is something of a steal given its 250 horsepower rating, upsized 8.0-inch touchscreen backed by infinity speakers, adaptive cruise control, and more. Spending the extra $2,000 for the performance package's 25 horsepower bump, 19-inch wheels, stickier rubber, and upsized brakes is worthwhile for weekend track warriors. For commuters, and for us, the $26,500 Veloster Turbo strikes a good balance with heated seats, the larger screen, a sunroof, and wireless smartphone charging. 2020 Hyundai Veloster – Fuel Economy The 2020 Hyundai Veloster is a fairly thrifty runabout, even in ferocious Veloster and form. All versions of the 2020 Hyundai Veloster are reasonably miserly, at least considering their underhood power. We rate the range at 6 out of 10. The most frugal of the bunch is actually the Veloster Turbo, which takes advantage of the smaller displacement afforded by its 1.6-liter engine. With the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, the Veloster Turbo is rated by the EPA at 28 miles per gallon city, 34 highway. 30 combined. Stick with the 6-speed manual and those figures decline to 26 slash 33 29ths of a mile per gallon. Base models are rated at 27 slash 34 thirtieths of a mile per gallon with the automatic and 25 slash 33 28ths of a mile per gallon with the manual. With its more powerful engine and different gearing, the Veloster N is the guzzler of the group at 22 slash 29 25 of a mile per gallon. All Velosters are designed to run on regular unleaded fuel, something we can't say about some rivals with similar power.